Hi, um, I thought I'd um, quickly jump on and explain what's happening now here at Rue. Um, so I had a community meeting last night within my village, which is twinned with Talibant and Dufferin Adidwe. Um, we're setting up a support network group to help the vulnerable in our area and also the elderly in our area. There's a lot of people that are likely to lose their jobs or certainly not get any money right now because we're a very big tourist area. So we've come together as a village or the two villages and we've set a network hub up. Now, Roo um, has handed its phone number over if you like as that central point of contact. So between the hours of nine and 4.30, um, this is where all the local people, if, should, if they need our help, whether that's to walk their dog, whether it's to collect their shopping from the local shops, whether it's to grab their prescription, whether they just want a friendly voice to talk to, we've got a register of people now, of volunteers within our area that we will then field those calls out to. Um, and that's kind of how we're doing our little bit, if you like, for the community. So I needed to let you all know, if you are trying to place an order online and you're phoning up because you're struggling, please leave us a voicemail message. We will get back to you. Um, we don't know how busy our phone line's gonna be. We don't know what's happening at the moment. But if you're struggling to get hold of us via the telephone, you can get us on Messenger on social media. So that's on Facebook and on Instagram. Or you can email us if you're having problems getting through to us on the phone because I know certain customers do like to just place their order over the phone. I know there's a few of you that don't like to order online. So just send me a little message and one of us will give you a call and get that sorted. Now there is a lot of um, hysteria going on and panic buying going on right now which is leaving some of the frontline people unable to do their shopping. So as a small business I'm urging you all now as well to please stop panic buying. Um, if we do all just do our shopping as normal, there's going to be plenty of food. Who actually wants um, just cupboards full of dried food? Fresh food is going to be by far the best thing that you can be eating. And there is still plenty of supplies of fresh food. So please, please stop panic buying. Um, Mother's Day. There's gonna be a lot of us that can't get out on Mother's Day. So I'm trying to do um, a little live session where I know there's, um, I had a lovely message off a lady this morning who'd said she can't go and see her family. She's ordered her own Mother's Day present because um, she won't be able to get out and she's still gonna get dressed up on Mother's Day and feel a million dollars. So that kind of got me thinking, I'm going to try and do um, I think it's a Google Meet. So we can all meet up and we can all show each other our outfits live. Um, I'm just gonna try and put all the logistics of that together now. Um, so bear with me. Um, as soon as I've got any information on how to do it and how I could get this to work, um, that's what I'm gonna go and try and do now. So I'll come back on and tell you all about that. Um, so yes, yeah, so if you are self-isolating, there's a few things I'm gonna try and do. Um, I've got lots of spare fabric. I've got a couple of ideas. Um, and what I'm gonna think is I'm gonna start doing is sending um, some craft packs out to people. And then there's a couple of things that I'm gonna give my patterns away. Um, so all you homemakers out there that have got your own sewing machine or you haven't got your sewing machine out for years and you think actually now's the time, I'm bored. Um, I'm gonna start releasing some of my patterns for you to be able to make. You have to pledge you're not gonna sell it on. <laughs> However, but I'm gonna send you some patterns so you can start making some things. So yeah, so I'll jump back on later and let you know about the Google Meet. Bye.